Good morning, everybody. There's a new bus service just been launched between Edinburgh city centre and the airport. It's called Bright Bus. And I've seen the website, and these buses are bright orange. Now, today I'm heading down to London to Heathrow, so I thought I'd give the new Bright Bus service a try. They claim it's the cheapest and the fastest way of getting from Edinburgh city centre to Edinburgh airport. But I thought we'd also make it a little bit more challenging. So today I thought we'd compare the Bright Bus with the existing Airlink service from Lothian Buses and the Edinburgh Tram. So that means going out to the airport on the Airlink, coming back from the airport on the tram and finally going out to the airport again on Bright Bus, all before my flight early this afternoon. You fancy joining me? Let's hope nothing goes wrong. Okay, we're going to start with the Airlink 100 service from Lothian Buses. This costs £5.50 one way, and we're in St Andrew's Square at the moment, and the bus leaves from just over here, South St David Street. And I can see there are already a couple of buses waiting at the stop. This stop is really easy to find. All you need to do is find the Scott Monument and there you are. There's a strap line. Our express service is just the ticket. Love it. Single tickets, £5.50. Return, eight quid. And they're saying city centre to airport in 30 minutes. Well, we'll see about that. We're going to time it on the stopwatch on the iPhone. I think we'll go upstairs. Before anybody else gets on board, let's just have a quick look round this bus. Obviously it's a double decker and I always prefer sitting upstairs. These seats look pretty good, don't they? Pretty decent headrest with leather fittings. Sculpted backrest and mm, quite firm, but probably quite well padded. Yep, this will do absolutely fine. I have to say, these Lothian buses to the airport, the Airlink 100s, are very, very comfortable. There's free Wi Fi as well. We'll have to see how it compares to the Bright Bus later on. Here we go. Just ahead of us, there's one of the bright buses that we're going to be getting later on. They are very orange, aren't they? well hit their 30 minute target. There 
There's the airport, we're getting close. Just under a minute left to hit his 30 minute target. There's a the bright bus again. And 30 minutes. 39 seconds. Well, welcome to Edinburgh Airport. And he just missed his 30 minute deadline by 39 seconds. I reckon we'll let him off with that. That was a pretty good service. Oh, I just caught a whiff of aviation fuel. I do love the smell of aviation fuel in the morning, don't you? That bus journey on the Air Link 100 was pretty good. Very comfortable seats and free Wi-Fi, and there were USB charging sockets. I didn't spot those until pretty much towards the end of the journey. And we hit our 30 minute deadline. So very happy with the Air Link 100. Do you think that the Bright Bus will be able to beat that 30 minute record? And how about the trams? Talking of the trams, we're gonna head back into Edinburgh city centre now on the tram. I would expect the tram to be quicker. What do you think? Just for reference, there's the Air Link bus stop for buses going back into the city. And it's right next to the tram stop over here. Let's get on board our Edinburgh tram. What do you think of this strap line? Glide to the city centre by tram. That is actually a plus point for the Edinburgh trams. Unfortunately, the roads in Edinburgh are in a pretty poor state, lots of potholes and bumps, and that bus journey was actually quite bumpy but yeah the trams glide the trams leave every seven minutes but if you have to wait there is a tram shaped waiting room that you can cop a squat in until the next tram is available it's an absolutely glorious day today. Very sunny and bright. A tram ticket costs £7.50 single. And one thing you've got to be aware of is you've got to activate your mobile ticket using one of the QR codes that are on the pillars in the station. Let's get on board. Check out these leather seats. And here we go, heading back to Edinburgh city centre. Definitely a smoother ride, definitely a glide.
so far so good, but we're now heading up onto the street where the tram has to compete with cars, buses and lorries. This is where things might slow down. We're 22 minutes in and he's got eight minutes to beat the bus. Well, we're approaching Prince's Street and we've got 27 minutes on the clock. So we might actually just make it in 30 minutes, depending upon what the traffic's like along Prince's Street. Really, really close now. We've got one stop to go. I don't think he's going to make it. Well, here we are back in St. Andrew's Square and that journey on the tram, 32 minutes, 45 seconds. The tram was only just about 90 seconds slower than the Air Link 100 bus. Not bad at all. So it all rests upon this new bus, the Bright bus. Can they do it in quicker than 30 minutes, 39 seconds. What do you think? Just a very brief walk from St Andrew's Square down onto Prince's Street and I think the bus stop for the Bright bus is just below the Balmoral Hotel near Waverley Station. There are Bright bus people wearing bright orange uniforms all over Prince's Street. So I've just bought a ticket, four quid, one way from Prince's Street to the airport. Let's go and see if they can live up to their promise of being the fastest. I have to say, this has turned out to be quite an exciting morning. I haven't really thought about my flight at all. I'm all right, but I'm starting to get to the point now where we need to get to Edinburgh Airport. There should be a bright bus along any second. In the meantime, we can just admire that fantastic Balmoral Hotel behind me. Remember, it's one of those famous railway hotels built in the 1890s. I'm going to be visiting some of these hotels very soon. Here we go. Bright bus. Bright orange. Well, more leather seats. I guess the seats are not quite as comfortable as the Air Link 100, but they're fine and they're leather. And I'm the only person on this bus. Obviously, the word hasn't spread yet. I do like the interior of this bus. It's colorful and it's fun. Lots of graphics. And obviously it's not a double decker, so the views won't be quite as good as they were on the Air Link 100. From what I can gather, there is no Wi-Fi on this bus, nor are there USB sockets. So if you absolutely need Wi-Fi and charging facilities, you probably want to go for the Air Link 100. Do you know we're about halfway there? This is going to be very, very close. I predict that this bright bus will not beat the 30 minutes, 39 seconds set by the Air Link 100. We're coming up on the airport turnoff and 23 minutes down. There are still a few traffic lights to negotiate, so it's going to be tight. We're here, so it now depends how long it takes him to get to the parking space. Welcome back to Edinburgh Airport for the second time. 
do love that control tower. It's so iconic, isn't it? It's still going to be very, very close. You okay? I'm fine, thank you. Thank you. See you later. Thank you. Cheers, mate. Thank you. There we are. We're at Edinburgh Airport and Bright Bus has won. 29 minutes, 41 seconds. Just under a minute faster than the Air Link. I have to admit, that was great fun this morning, trying out all of those different modes of transport, getting to and from Edinburgh Airport, and I hope that it helps you. So here's a summary. It cost £5.50 on the Air Link 100 bus, and that took 30 minutes, 39 seconds. The Edinburgh tram cost £7.50, and that took 32 minutes, 45 seconds. A bright bus, £4, and they did win. They lived up to their promise of being the cheapest and the fastest, 29 minutes, 41 seconds. If I was to give you a preference, I would probably prefer the Air Link 100. The seats are more comfy, it's a double decker so you can sit upstairs and watch. It had free Wi-Fi and USB ports as well. Very, very comfortable and very, very frequent. Edinburgh tram, I think was faster today than it usually is because the roads were quite clear and the Edinburgh tram can get very, very busy. I was very lucky on that tram that I was on today. There was hardly anyone on it. Well, thank you so much for watching this episode of Rogvlog. I've got to get into the airport now, check into my flight down to Heathrow and hope that British Airways doesn't let me down. Until the next video, remember, there's always something to see. So get out there and find it. Yeah.